Not Norman, A Goldfish Story by Kelly Bennett, illustrated by Noah Z. Jones. When I got Norman, I didn't want to keep him. I wanted a different kind of pet, not Norman. I wanted a pet who could run and catch, or one who could climb trees and chase strings, a soft, furry pet to sleep on my bed at night, not Norman. All Norman does is swim around and 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 around. This is it, Norman, I decide. I'm trading you for a good pet. Norman doesn't move. Not even a fin twitches. How can I trade him like this? No one will want a sorry-looking fish in a gunky bowl. When I drop Norman into his nice, clean bowl, he starts dipping and flipping and flapping his fins around. He looks so goofy, I have to laugh. Don't think that just because you made me laugh, I'm going to keep you, I tell him. Tomorrow, you're out of here. Norman blows a stream of bubbles. <laughs> the next day, I take Norman to school with me. If I talk him up real good during show and tell, maybe someone will want him. On the way there, we see my friend Austin. Austin has a real cool dog and seven puppies. Want to swap one of your pups for Norman, I ask? Who's Norman? asks Austin. My goldfish, I say. By the time I rescue Norman, half his water is gone. I'm sorry, I tell Norman when we get to school. I'm really sorry. He just stares at me all googly-eyed. Finally, it's my turn to show and tell. Just as I start to talk about goldfish, Emily shouts, Jenny's gone! Who let my snake loose? Does anyone hear the story of how I got Norman? Does anyone even ask to hold his bowl? No. They're all jumping and screaming and chasing the snake. Not Norman. He's looking right at me. Thanks for listening, I tell him. That afternoon, we go to my music lesson. As soon as it's over, I'm taking Norman back to the pet store. I take out my tuba and begin to play. I glance over at Norman. He's swaying back and forth. <laughs> gloop, 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 he mouths. <laughs> Look, Norman's singing, I say. Pay attention snaps Maestro, and try to play the proper notes. Maestro makes me stay for extra practice. By the time my lesson is over, it's too late to go to the pet store. Don't think that just because you like my music, I'm going to keep you, I tell Norman. He glugs. That night, I'm sound asleep when... Screech! Scratch! What's that noise? Scratch! Screech! Screech! Yikes! There's something at the window. Then, out of the corner of my eye, I spot Norman. He isn't scared. He isn't swimming around in circles either. He glugs and gives me a little wave. I'm not alone. Together, Norman and I slide open the curtains. It was just a broken tree branch. Thanks for watching out for me, Norman. On Saturday, I take Norman to the pet store just like I said I would. I look at the cats and dogs and snakes and birds. I look at the hamsters and mice and lizards, too. They all look like good pets. But they are not Norman.
When I got Norman, I wasn't sure I wanted to keep him. But now, even if I could pick any pet in the whole world, I wouldn't trade him. Not Norman. Thanks for listening. Be sure to come back next week for a brand new story.